Today we're going to be talking about the new Siraj Vandal Proof Dome Camera um, and some of its main features are So it has a half an inch Sony sensor uh, inside It's full 1080p 1920 by 1080 it has a built-in true WDR function, uh, but some of the uh, main function or feature in this camera is the smart 50 meter IR LED. Uh, this is a new technology, they're high powered. You will be able to see from the picture that there's only four high powered um, uh, large size LEDs, which allows you to see in complete darkness. The first example is the, our backyard here where it's absolutely pitch black at night and uh, you can clearly see how strong the infrared is um, in this picture. The second picture you'll see is a uh, low light. Uh, this is just after dawn uh, and uh, you can see how the picture maintain color under extreme low light. And the same thing applies if you're uh, installing the camera at a site where there is a street light. Uh, again, the camera will continue giving you a color picture. The third example is the camera at dawn. Uh, very, very little light coming out. Uh, however, uh, the, pic the camera here, uh, the day-night function kicks in and you can see a very clear uh, black and white picture um, at uh, dawn. And again, the same thing applies uh, in the evening. Now, the most important also uh, feature is the color picture during the day. And as you can see in the last example here, a very clear, crisp picture uh, in daytime uh, in color. It also has um, a very, very uh, unique uh, feature uh, that puts it um, aside from other uh, Vandal Proof TVI cameras is the uh, anti-reflection mechanism that is built into uh, the glass, which um, uh, eliminate any uh, anti-reflection that can co be caused by uh, rain or a light uh, opposite to the camera, as we experience sometimes from other sites. It has uh, a 2.8 to 12 millimeter uh, auto iris uh, lens. Um, it has also a defog uh, feature in case of uh, foggy areas to illuminate the uh, fog. Uh, that can be switched on or off depending on the location, uh, along with other standard um, features, which is uh, multi-language, is 12 volt DC. And the mo another important feature is that it's IP68. Its IP rating is quite high. Um, also, it has a, a built-in uh, base for the cable management, so you don't have to um, uh, add uh, a base uh, next uh, under it or next to a uh, junction box. It's all one neat finish um, once you finish the installation. Uh, another main feature also that it has an analog output um, not only for the camera when you're testing it over a test monitor in, in case you don't have a TVI uh, test monitor, but also it has a, a third cable coming out of the uh, camera which allows you to have an analog output running in the same time. And this is very useful in case you want to have a spot output on that particular camera to a second monitor. As you can see, as you know, that most digital recorders now TVI lack loop through at the moment. So in case you want to loop through, you don't have to split the signal, you can just take it out from the same camera from the analog output into a second monitor. The camera range comes in two colors, ivory and black. And as I mentioned before, uh, the camera itself has a built-in cable management base, but also optional, there is wall brackets for each color with a built-in uh, cable management for the wall bracket itself. Now, moving to the camera itself, I'm just going to go through the uh, packing. So when you receive the camera, you will have the following inside. Obviously the manual and the spec and the holes to help you put it onto the wall. Now also the camera has, when you're setting up the camera, if you still have an analog uh, test monitor, you can still use the cable that comes with it in order to adjust the picture. Obviously the screws, the cover for the 20 meter condyle and the key to open the camera. Okay, so let's open the camera and show you what's inside. Using the key, you can open the camera. Now that we've opened the screws, we'll open the camera. First, let me just show you quickly, that's the built-in base that we've talked about, of which you can put all the cables inside. 
Right, so now that we've opened it, let me just go through the physical appearance on the camera inside. And as you can see now, this is where the analog output is, in case you still have a test monitor analog and you want to set up the camera. Now, there's a new um, mechanism also on this camera that is not found in the normal traditional cameras or most of them, uh, is there's a ring for the very focal, uh, setting up the zoom and the focus on this camera. And as you can see here, you undo the screw a little bit and it's much more accessible. So you can adjust it to the, to the exact detail to get the best picture. It's much easier to, um, to set up the camera this way. Uh, once you finish, you undo the screw. Now these are the four high powered uh, infrared LEDs that I've talked about in the main features. As you can see, it's a new technology that allows you to see up to 50 meters IR. It's also intelligent IR, so it gives you as much infrared as you need depending on the environment around. Just a couple of things that I'd like to finish with. Uh, the string that is attached to the base, which uh, is, makes it much easier when you're on the ladder, and the three axis bracket that is built into this camera, which allows you to install it on the ceiling or on the wall. So let's try to put it all together again now. And as you can see, it's as easy as one, two, three. And that's all. Thank you for watching.